What's up now? So this daddy news is, it's just too much coming out at one time. Like, like I said the other day, if you blink too damn long, you will miss what the hell going on with this Diddy shit. Now, look, I'm not going to say what channel I seen this on because I don't want to uh, <clears throat> discredit anybody because I don't know if this shit is true. But this certain channel is a well-known channel. <clears throat> and from my understanding, they don't come out with no false ass shit. So anyway, people... <sighs> I know everybody's also talking about <clears throat> there were more than 35 pages. I think they said it was like 30 or 35 pages when Cassie initially did the lawsuit, but it was really supposed to be 60 pages. The original lawsuit is really 60 pages. And they say Kim Porter's name is all up and through that shit because it's a lot of shit that, uh, you know, Kim Porter can be mentioned about, put it like that. So anyway, I, know, I don't know if this was in the paperwork, what I'm about to say though, but they are saying that Kim Porter allegedly walked in on Biggie and Diddy, but Biggie was giving Diddy some sloppy time. Dang. See, that goes back to that verse people brung out and they was like, you know, it'd be some suspect verses people be saying, and that made me think of that verse Biggie said, which was, you look so good, I suck on your daddy's D. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, question mark, you hear me? Like, bruh, I know damn well Biggie wasn't giving Diddy no damn sloppy top. This is supposed to be coming from a reliable source. Now, that, that shit, <clears throat> which is also the same person allegedly saying that it's 60 pages instead of 30-something. But it's other channels saying that it's really 60 pages. But I don't think they saying that about the Biggie situation. This shit crazy, though. So, they trying to say that Biggie was scared to leave for real because he didn't want that. He was telling his lawyers he didn't want that tape coming out. So he he had something over his head. I Right now, <clears throat> I'm feeling like that can't be true, man. That shit just can't be true. Right? It can't be true, man. But see, he also had to settle quick because if he would have went all the way through this, they was going to be an investigation, people are saying. Which would, which makes sense. There would have been an investigation and all type of shit would have came out. About people that work for you, all that shit, all that shit. Everybody dirt would have came out. So he had this, he had, that was the best thing for Diddy was to go ahead and resign, bruh. Resign, bow out. Well, we can't say gracefully, but you got to bow out, bro. You got to go on about your business, man. So his, his presence is no longer needed any fucking where. Like he is done. You see what I'm saying? So then it was said that if he wanted to ever leave his children anything, his best bet was to drop out of everything. Just drop out of the shit, bro. And, and we'll try to see what we can... You know what I'm saying? Ration up for your kids and shit. But at the end of the day, yeah, at, at, at this point, you probably bankrupt in the motherfucker. I can see it happening. Where Diddy is seriously broke as hell. Like, he, you know, I don't think he would be broke, broke. Like, he got jewelry he can give up. You know, shit like that. I mean, cars and houses and shit. He might have to downgrade. Um... But it's always a way to get money, even though he going through this shit. But he giving up a he giving up a lot of money though. Damn! But this Biggie shit got me fucked up. I need to know if anybody ever heard this shit before about Biggie and Diddy. Man, come on, man, come on, man! What the fuck? Shit, they they said worse about Tupac, huh? When Tupac was in the tub with all that gold, it was a. a it was a G.A.Y. guy that supposedly had had uh, 
videotaped him doing it or taking pictures. Put it like that. Yeah. I'm just saying. And he, he and Tupac was in a club with Queen Latifah. People went crazy about that because I think it was a G-A-Y club. You see what I'm saying? So people have said stuff similar. Well, I ain't never heard nobody say that about Pac, that sloppy top part. Now, I know Pac walked in on uh, Dre, Dr. Dre, and said, and he said this out of his mouth. He said he ain't know if he wanted, he supposed to be down here making beats for me. He upstairs partying or whatnot, or in the next room partying. He don't know if he wants the D or the P. He don't even know. He just doing every damn thing. All right? So that was also said. You see what I'm saying? So, ah, uh, damn. Damn. What haven't these people done? See, that's them drugs. I blame it on the damn drugs. Alter, altering your fucking mind. They be giving them them weird drugs in them parties. Drugs they ain't never had before. Next thing you know, you out your body. You doing, you numb, huh? You numb and outside your body. And, and you don't feel nothing till you wake up. You like, why my butt so? Why my jaws hurt? Why? That what we want to know. Ain't that what, uh... <laughs> Not to go off subject, but ain't that what that young lady said at, at, with T.I. and Tiny? Say so she woke up, she said her pelvic was hurting or some shit. Some, she felt like something wasn't right. Like what happened last night type shit. You see, man, look, these damn drugs. Them pills motherfuckers be popping. They think them pills so innocent. Man, them motherfuckers get in your ass and get to activate it. Hey. What Drake say? He popped a he popped the X pill for the first time and shit that shit re reacted to him like a, a what he say a two world champ or some shit like that like yeah 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 and just think if you never had one before just think if you've never had one before. And just think if you've had one before, but not that powerful before. You see what I'm saying? Like, man, let me tell you something, man. Stay away from these drugs and these parties and everything like that, man. Because I'm trying to tell you. You can't trust no damn body, man. Damn. But y'all get in the comments and let me know. Have you heard about this Biggie and Diddy? Because if that was in the paperwork, I'm not saying it was in the paperwork. But if that was. I don't know how to feel about that shit, people. Well, y'all get in the comments and let me know, man, on some real shit. Have y'all ever heard of Biggie giving Diddy some sloppy top, bro? I can just imagine all the stories Lil' Kim got, man. Straight up. I, man, she got thousands of stories about that, man. Mary J. Blige. It was said that allegedly Mary J. Blige was pregnant by Diddy, and I guess they got rid of the baby, whatever, whatever. See this shit? Because they was cool, you know what I'm saying? Man, Mary J. Blossom did a lot of concerts, events, and here come Diddy. Don't nobody even know he coming. Here he come on stage. And they dancing together and shit. Like, they just super cool, bro. But you don't, you, you, hey, you don't see her coming out defending no Diddy. Nobody's, hey, where you at, Slim Thug? Slim Thug ain't said shit else about that Diddy shit. <laughs> I think he learned this lesson just like that. Like, nah, man. This ain't that type of party. Yo, 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 you and your feelings. But let me tell you, um, this Diddy shit, I would not be speaking on his ass. You in the industry, boy. You better chill out. Everybody better chill out. Don't even talk about that fool. You know what I'm saying? If you in the industry, then you know not to talk about that fool. Uh-uh, not these days. People, y'all get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about this. Damn, 60 pages. Message.